Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Darcy and I'm going to show you this journal that I have for sale in my Etsy. It is the very first journal I have put up in Etsy. I'm very excited to have started my shop. More stuff will be coming. So we have this closure which just wraps around once and tucks in that brad. Sorry Silk. S-A-R-I not sorry for anything and then there's a couple charms attached there's an owl and a leaf has about 35 pages so each side would be 70 there's a pocket right here this is avocado dyed paper and just a little hand dyed um, index card and a journal card which you could add to it if you wanted to and then this paper is um, tea dyed paper and I had tried tea dyeing some colored paper like this and this and this red came off on several of the papers and I thought it was a really cool look. So since I had this colorful um, fabric, I thought I would go ahead and incorporate all the pages from that batch into this one journal um, just for fun. So we've got some tea dyed pages. And then we have a little corner tuck here with a, I think that's, I don't know, I don't know who the little boy is. It's from Dick and Jane. And then just this plain, plain ta plain ish tag. So you can decorate that yourself. This is the lightly embellished journal, which gives you plenty of room to play and add your own touches. So you can see some of the bluish green got on that orange. And then there's just this little the little notepad in there and a couple of journal cards that one is hand written on the back says believe and this one is hand written as well it says hope and then if you wanted to there's also a place here that you could add something oh it has a little bunny on the back a little bunny silhouette and there's a little bit of lace here not vintage lace um there's not a lot of vintage in this except for some of the book pages are vintage is the main thing in that um ledger paper at the front maybe i got it at thrift store so it's hard to say and then there's a tag i'm not sure what to put on it but a friend of mine says you know when in doubt add a mushroom so i did and this is hand dyed uh guest check you can play with and some mixed media pocket corner tuck right there. And then we have a little flip out with from Dick and Jane. And then here's a journaling card in here. I made this into a pocket right here. And a little tea got there, that's what that is. And I believe this is vintage uh, paper here. And then there's another journaling card with blue on the back. More of that mixed media corner tuck and some hand dyed Oh, what a, I can never remember what these are called. Um, you know, Rolodex card. Oh my goodness. And then there's a, an altered paper clip right here, which is just a little owl. And he's a little purpley because I was ink was running out. And so when that happens, I try to, um, I try to print some stuff because I think it's just fun. Another Rolodex card. And there's a pocket right here. This is the middle of the signature. You can see I uh, put this paper on a pan, perforated pan. We have that journaling card. And I put, I put quite a few of the dyed Rolodex cards. That's what the back of that one looks like. They're kind of cool, kind of fun. Just some bright, colorful pages, plenty of place to write. Just a plain guest check for you to play with. And it, it, this is vintage, the password. And any of the um, Monopoly pieces that you see in the collages are also vintage. And then we have this journaling card. And this little envelope, which actually comes from the graphics fairy. I should probably tuck a little something in there, huh? I might. You never know. The other side of that. A vintage page and there's another journaling card 
And you can see where the red got onto that. Another Rolodex card. Some lined paper. The rest of this um, Gil Fujikawa is what this book is from. And that's so pretty. And then there's a different lace. Oops. Right there. And that flips out for more writing. And you could tuck a little something under there. And then there's um, a dyed guest check and another journaling card with some um, Ossenberg fabric there. And it's sewn. You can see which ones were sewn, right? And then this is the back. And then just a little dyed paper in there, which you could put your address and stuff. And there's some washi tape. And the cover is plain so that you can do whatever you want. Um, with fabric covers, that's just, I just like it like that. I like the look, and I know some people do, and if you like it to have more, you can add more. So this is in my store. The link will be below. My store is called Eclectic Junk Journals. So thank you for joining me today. Have a delightful day. Much love.